Suppose uh, f and g are continuous on the infinite interval a infinity and such that f is uh, the graph of f is below that one of g and both are uh, non-negative functions. Um, then we have the following comparison criterion. If the integral from a to infinity g x dx is convergent, then so is the integral from a to infinity fx dx. Secondly, if the integral from a to infinity fx dx is divergent, then this should be this integral should have value infinity and it pushes away the integral from a to infinity gx dx. So the integral from a to infinity gx dx is infin infinite as well in that case. Well, a proof goes as follows. So here's the typical picture. So we have an element a in R and the blue line uh, is the graph of G and the green line is the graph of F. So suppose we take an arbitrary value t, then the integral from a to t fx dx is of course smaller or equal than the integral from a to t gx dx. Yeah, since fx is smaller or equal than g of x, then so are the integrals, right? So the green part is smaller than the blue part. That's basically the thing. If we look at the first case, if uh, if the integral from a to infinity g of x dx is convergent, then we know that the integral from a to t to arbitrary t g x dx is smaller than the inter interval from a to infinity over g x dx. Yeah, since uh, g is a positive, non-negative on t infinity, then it adds a positive a non-negative amount. Yeah, so we know that the integral from a to t fx dx, for the same reason since f is non-negative, and this is an increasing function or non-decreasing function in t, and uh, it's bounded by a number, uh, the number which is the integral from a to infinity gx dx. So just like the monotonic convergence for sequences here, the integral from a to t f x dx should converge. Yeah, so it's increasing but bounded. So there should be a value where it's running into. Okay, suppose secondly that the integral a to infinity f x dx diverges. I already stated that in that case, it can only be that uh, the integral is unbounded or that it's infinity. But since the integral from a to t g of x is always larger or equal than the integral from a to t f x dx, then so should be the limit. So then also the integral from a to infinity g x dx is infinity. In the coming clips, I will show you some, some fine examples, uh, applications in statistics and also